Hey Capricorn, the Ivy Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to those of you who may be new and thank you for those of you who are returning. Um, miss you all so much. I know it has been since the end of July, I think is when I posted the last reading. Um, come party with us over on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is a little bit less than that. Um, I just, yeah, life, life. Um, but here we are, September 2019 general reading let's get right into it huh what's going on with Capricorns this month oh boy I must say though it has been lovely <laughs> uh, doing these messages and just seeing of course one how they all um, intermingle with each other and two um, just in doing the first three, the end of the Zodiac videos, I just think are going to <laughs> take on a new, um, a new like meaning of their own. So, uh, let's see, Capricorn, please, Capricorn. Unfinished Symphony. Excuse me. Okay, there's one. Time to go. Now we've talked about this um, over the last few months. You know the the cyclical pattern that you continue to find yourself in Capricorn, and you know it's. To some degree, you know, some of it is normal because that's just who you are, right? It's just something that's in you. It's it's innately done. Um, it's not always by, I guess, by choice because it's just autopilot, okay? Um, <clears throat> but why? Do you know why? If you were to dissect where you picked up on that trait, would you be able to identify why? We have Treasure Island here. You guys are finally throwing in some of the shakeup here of cards. Um, what hasn't come out? And if they have, it may have only been once. I don't think Treasure Island has it all. Why may have once? Higher power here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... An observer. And what do we have at the bottom of the deck? What do I feel is this unfinished symphony for you all? The unfinished business? The chaos and the conflict. It sucks to say that, you know, some of that may be self inflicted, but let's be honest here, right? Um, we need to be honest. It, it can't be any more of the hiding. It can't be any more of <coughs> the being less than truthful about the matter, Capricorn. Um, you, I think, I think you're very aware. Um, with all of the planets that are in your sign, especially with Saturn being home in your sign, the North Node being in your sign, like these are energetic bodies that incorporate so much about lessons, about karma, about cycles, about growth, about learning, all of that, about letting go. And I think that that is what is playing out for you. So this isn't specific to a person. This isn't specific to any type of work, money, nothing like that. It has nothing to do with what you are going to be leaving when your body no longer has the same spirit. You. When it is time for you to transition, all of that stuff that you put your time and your energy to, to make a quick buck, to be liked, to, you know, go up the ladder, it won't matter.
Capricorns. And I think that is what, you know, spirit is trying to get you to pay attention to. It started off as a soft tap. You know, then it got a little firmer. You know, then it became quick. Then it's, it's now starting to be a jabby motion. It is just going to continue to escalate, I feel, until you identify the why. Again, you know, but until you can finally accept it and say it out loud and deal with it, you know, you're missing out on these things. It's here. This is where you are right now. This is where the lesson is. This is what needs to change. And once this does, you get to explore the things that truly matter. Because it, I really feel like for the last year, there's been so much sacrifice, Capricorns, but it's been sacrificing for the wrong things, okay? <laughs> okay. The world, it's coming to an end. Thank you. It is coming to an end. It's coming to a head now. It's coming to you to deal with it. Your life is going upside down. You don't know who you can call on. You can't depend on anybody. It's because this is supposed to be an isolated event for you. That's how you're going to learn. And you have the opportunity for it to be victorious with the six of six of rods here, six of wands. You have the opportunity for it. You have the opportunity to still be able to keep some, some things, you know, but their their role is going to be different for you. Okay? Gotcha. Knight of Pentacles. And as you're learning, I feel like it's going to be slow. It's going to be methodical. It's going to it's basically going to take the way that you've done things and put it in reverse. <laughs> Any of you have ever seen Deliver Us from Eva? <laughs> she said, oh no, it's not goodbye, it's hello, in reverse. Good old Gabrielle Union. <coughs> Who is married to a Capricorn? I'm pretty sure that Dwayne Wade is a Capricorn, but I'm sure you all will correct me on that. I think he is. So that's interesting to be channeling that here. All right, we got your clarifiers. Okay, we also have the page of wands here. So yeah, there's going to be this like new vigor, passion. We talked about this. We talked about this. It's going to require you to be patient. <laughs> that's not a strong suit. And I am not throwing shade. I'm not. I swear I'm not. Again, if we can't be honest here, then where? And it's going to take time. Okay? This is not going to be something that's going to be over quick, fast, and in a hurry. It is not. And it is all because it is supposed to bring you into a new place. It is supposed to give you a new way of looking at life. Okay? Um, you all are the first to get the moon card. This full moon that is coming up. I think is going to set the stage. It's going to shine the light on the things that have been, you know, you you've you've been okay with it creeping around. You know, it doesn't. We don't need that. You don't need to see that yet. You may not ever need to see it at all. You know, the moon can still keep things in the shadows. It's not like the sun where everything comes to light. The moon knows where it's light is shining and where it's not and even though this isn't a full moon like i said it's going to set the stage you're going to start seeing those little things scurrying around and they're eventually going to get caught in the light and people are going to be like what's that you won't be able to hide it anymore is what i'm trying to get at capricorns So full moon is going to set the stage. Full moon in Pisces is going to be a harvest moon because it is supposed to give you the opportunity to take all of these things that you've been learning, all of these things that you've been dealing with, and finally apply them, finally harvest, finally get to reap some of what you've sown, the good stuff, 
right now you're reaping what you've sown of the bad and there is an end there's an end to it all I promise you there is but at the end you are meant to be a whole new person and I feel like that whole new person energy will come during the Capricorn full moon next year you're in cancer season got some months almost a year about, about 10 so let's get your message for the month shall we I don't think there's much more to add there <coughs> still thinking about it living large uh, Sagittarius just had this at the bottom of their deck it's different for you though I think that um, this has been your motto before and it can still be your motto now but it's about to be your motto in a different way we're not living large just because we want to be at the top of the pack status again all of the stuff that doesn't matter you're not going to be able to take any of it with you so why not think more about the legacy that you are able to leave here the one that's really going to change people inside themselves even if that still means you're in the same job you're in the same relationship you're in the same place the perspective can change where it's like you know what i'm in this because it can do this for others it has been so self-led for you capricorns that now it's finally about to be for others <clears throat> bring it that's right and it's coming <laughs> you think you need to ask and this isn't actually an ask it's it's coming this is a fact it's intentional like i said you won't be able to avoid this everything's gonna about everything is about to be on display for you capricorns there's just no way around it and again the moment that you accept it you know you realize what you've been doing chaos and conflict and you start making the moves forward when you can finally articulate that why <clears throat> treasure island higher power observer you got it in the back the ivy phoenix here these are your messages for september 2019 until next time mwah, love you